Churchill, Prime Minister of Great Britain during World War II! <laughs> I have nothing to offer but blood, toil, tears, and sweat. And we have nothing to offer except this next cartoon! <laughs> Good show! For 200 years, the United States President loves presidential animals. See, Abraham Lincoln has the Jack the Turkey. And my name is Jack! <laughs> George Washington had at least 12 dogs, including Sweet Lips and Madame Moose. Yo, Sweet Lips! Over here! William Howard Taft had a cow called Mooly Wooly. Moo! <laughs> cold hands! Cold hands! Watch the cold hands! Bonnie Van Wood has the tiger named Shere Khan like the others. Now, my children, go back to your chambers and rest. We will have another visit very soon. John F. Kennedy had Billy and Debbie the hamsters. Politics is uh, just another rat race. Ronald Reagan had L. Alamein the horse. Boy, I hope the fellas down at the stable don't hear about this. Teddy Roosevelt had the garnish snake Emily Spinach. <laughs> Calvin Coolidge has Tax the Lion. Why the power of Darjeeling? What a capital idea! The parakeet named Gabby was owned by the uncle director General Dwight Eisenhower. Meet the Squirrel was owned by the beautiful guy Warren G. Hardy. This is my pet president, George Bush. He's the 41st president, and while he was in office, the Berlin Wall was taken down, Desert Storm was fought, and he didn't eat broccoli. Bill Clinton's cat sucks, and his chocolate lab buddy. Between Grover Cleveland's favorite mockingbirds, oink, oink, and Chester Arthur's basketball rabbits. Yeah, what's up, dog? <laughs> Why do they all have animals? That's right. Because it's time for President Pants. Thank you for that kind reception. It was a great honor for me to write this Pledge of Allegiance and here to read it for the very first time as someone who has been selected for his oratorical skills, Loud Kiddington. It's time for Silly President Tricks with Loud Kiddington. Which means the Presidential Kid Chorus. If you want religious freedom round the clock, hop a ship today that's bound for Plymouth Rock. You can worship and relax, just don't ever turn your backs. Talk too loud, talk too loud, talk too loud. Hey folks, Lord Kiddington here! And just when you thought your Stone Age life couldn't get any better, along comes the wheel! <laughs> and if I can't make you a deal, my dog fetch will the metal muffin! <gasps> can we talk about this? <laughs> Jefferson here. I wrote the Declaration of Independence. And what thanks do I get? My picture on the $2 bill. Well. And so, in the summer of 1776, America finally has a fight to call its own. Thanks to Bitsy Ross. <laughs> Hooray! Oh, I'm right here, Your Honor, dude. Sorry I'm late and stuff. I would have been here sooner, but I couldn't find my briefs. Rock solid! Yes, all right, folks! Just listen to a few of the many benefits Teddy Roosevelt uses Sherman Antitrust Act to break up monopolies! Huh? What's with this kid? President Teddy Roosevelt here. Between the years of 1903 and 1914, America, led by me, accomplished one of the greatest engineering feats of all time, the building of the Panama Canal in Central America. Uh, 